Hello everybody. Uh, today I will be showing you how to uh, build and set up a Raspberry Pi pan and tilt module. In this video I'll be using a pan and tilt module that I 3D printed. I will also be including those files for the 3D print down in the description below if you have a 3D printer. If you don't, that's okay. There's uh, plenty of places you can buy pan and tilt modules online for pretty cheap and they'll work just as well. So the things we'll be needing are a Raspberry Pi, of course, and two servo motors. Uh, they're the blue things you can see in the video here, and they're very useful and very cheap too. We will also be needing a uh, breakout board. Um, that's the blue thing you see uh, in my right hand there, and they're used to kind of make connecting things to the Raspberry Pi easier. You can plug things directly into the GPIO outputs on the Raspberry Pi, but I like to use the breakout board just to make things more simple and kind of give you more area to work. For this product, we'll be connecting the servos to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi itself can supply five volts, um, and the power required to run the servos is fortunately very small. Although the Raspberry Pi has a very limited amount of power it can supply, we'll be only running a single servo at a time for this product. And the Raspberry Pi will be able to handle that without any problems. The way we'll be controlling the module is with the keyboard arrow keys. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because you don't have to solder in any additional components, like a button, and you also don't have to click something on the screen to move it. One of the benefits of using the arrow keys to move uh, the camera in the program is that you can SSH into your Raspberry Pi from a remote computer, and you can still use the arrow keys. So for the wiring, we're going to need to connect the Raspberry Pi's ground to the servo's ground. That'll be the brown cable. Um, we also need to connect the servo's power to the Raspberry Pi's 5 volt power. And then finally, we're going to need to connect the orange control wire of the servo to the Raspberry Pi's GPIO outputs. In this little video, you can see that I circle the GPIO 4 and 17. Those are the ones we're going to be utilizing for the servo control. All right, time to get into the coding portion of it. So if you've never used your Raspberry Pi camera before, you're gonna to need to open up terminal, type in sudo raspi-config, like I do here, hit enter, it should open up this screen, scroll down with using your arrow keys to enable camera, hit enter. All right, now you're gonna to need to reboot your Raspberry Pi so you're able to use the camera. And then once you've rebooted, we'll get into the coding of uh, actually controlling the servos using the arrow keys. All right, so in the video description below, I included a file uh, called pan tilt, which has all of the stuff needed to run this program. So download it and either put it on a flash drive and transfer it to your Raspberry Pi or download it directly from your Raspberry Pi. So this Python program requires you to run it from the terminal in order to use the arrow keys and keyboard uh, to control the servos. So instead of running it from the Python API, we'll right click on the pan tilt folder and click open in terminal. Next, we will type in python space pan tilt dot py. Pantilt.py is the name of our program that we're running within the Pantilt folder. Hit enter and now the program should be running. Um, use the arrow keys to control the servos. Um, you might have to switch the wires if when you click left it goes up and when you click up it goes right. Um, so if that's the case, just switch the leads on the servos or the signal wires and then it should be good to go. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Fido from Thingiverse for supplying the 3D files for the uh, Raspberry Pi gimbal or pan and tilt system. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment down in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks.